Welcome back to the Pro Bowl, everybody. TV Sports 27, second half coming in. Brand new roster, brand new players coming in. You're going to see some players that are kind of similar because some positions like free safety only had one guy and you can't sub it out. So you're going to see some repeat players, but you're going to get a whole new batch. So Jake DeLome coming into this one of the New Orleans Saints. Hoping to get the NFC back in to this game. He's going to start off with a handoff to Brian Westbrook of the Chicago Bears. So Jake DeLome in there for the Saints. And then coming in the fourth quarter is going to be Dante Culpepper of the Rams. He'll be dueling it out with Michael Vick on the other side. We got John Kitten of the Broncos for the AFC coming in. So DeLome. Dropping back, and he connects with Johnson. And that's going to be a first down, Chad Johnson. So wide receivers as well. You're going to see a lot of repeated names because there's only so many wide receivers, only like five of them on the roster. So you're going to see some of the same names. On the AFC side, it looks like that um, Jerry Rice was injured. We put him in as a starter, but I don't know if he'll play it. His name is all red, so I think he might be toast. But if you guys want to see that, all the off-camera stuff, join us live on Twitch, or it'll be up on our Patreon. We cut that part out, but it'll be up if you want to see the different rosters and everything and us switching it out. It'll be up on our Patreon page. So second half, big one. Then we're going to do the off-season. We're going to look at the crib after this as well. Jake DeLome sacked from behind. Number 99, Jason Taylor of the Baltimore Ravens getting the quarterback sack on Jake DeLome, hitting DeLome from behind. Big day that he has had so far. And it's going to be third down and 17 for the New Orleans Saint quarterback here. DeLome, pressure coming, and he had a wide open, oh my God, he had a wide open Randy Moss. And Ellis Johnson gets credit with the pass deflection, the New England Patriot. Oh, that was a touchdown waiting to happen for the NFC. Wide open as, as they brought the heat. They brought the heat on the AFC side. We got SK Money in the chat room. He is here today. We have Musamania, who's got the uh, stream Chromecasted right now to the big screen TV. As Tom Brady heads to the bench on the AFC side. And John Kitna of the Denver Broncos. They had a really good season with Kitna at quarterback, and he is coming in for the AFC squad here. Kitna dropping back and completes that pass. Now we got a couple of 81s out there. So we have Torrey Holt, Randy McMichael, and Peerless Price, all number 81. So it's hard to know who's who unless you get the back of a, a jersey out there, and we did not. So, uh, yeah, all the 81s on the AFC side. Kitna delivers. Wow, this is our first time, and I believe that said McMichael. I'm trying to squint, like I said, on these Xbox quality graphics. But John Kitna, our first time to see him this season. And my goodness, he uh, is looking good. He looks sharp. There it is. Randy McMichael. He is a Baltimore Raven. Two catches, 42 yards, and the Denver Broncos quarterback. He's no Tom Brady the third, but he's got him right down the field. Kitna. It's batted around and almost picked off. That was John Abraham of the Dallas Cowboys. Who is the quarterback? SK Money, you talking about Kitna or DeLome? Oh, first down. I don't know when that chat came in. I missed it. Well, both of these quarterbacks played in Super Bowls before, so you should know who they are. Uh, I don't know if you're referring to Jake DeLome, who was the longtime quarterback of the Carolina Panthers and took the Panthers to Super Bowl 38, or John Kitna, who is a played on many different squads, but I suppose he was most known for... Uh, no, he never went to a Super Bowl. That's Kerry Collins I'm thinking of. Kitna never made it to a Super Bowl. Kerry Collins did with the Giants. Kitna! T 
touchdown. What a drive from John Kitna. Caps it off with the Kansas City Chiefs' Jimmy Smith. Holy smokes, Kitna looks good. Maybe we can trade for him in the offseason. It's going to be up to the front office for playing a unique style here in NFL 2K5 where the computer is going to control all the front office moves for us. And we've kind of gone into in past streams and past episodes, so I won't repeat it. But there's a reason why we are doing that format because of various glitches in the game and whatnot. So if you guys want to check out that explanation, check out the past episodes on our YouTube page. So the NFC, we are in uh, quite the situation here. And we're in danger of losing five games in a row <laughs> from uh, how we ended the season with the Commanders. How does Jake DeLome respond? By connecting with the Seattle Seahawks, Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez had some BC three catches, 80 yards for Tony Gonzalez. Comparing that to the AFC's Marvin Harrison of the Indianapolis Colts. DeLome, wow. DeLome looking good. Chad Johnson for the first down. St. Louis Rams representative. Both DeLome and Kitna looking good in relief. For SK Money... Whether it be DeLome or Kitna, he's seen him for the first time. We might be changing his life right now with these new quarterbacks. The outside to Westbrook. And Westbrook's going to get wrapped up by the San Diego Chargers' Darren Sharper. DeLome's got the NFC moving right now. Big opening for Westbrook, but he gets tripped up just at the last moment. Chicago Bears, Brian Westbrook. Third and short. I think Westbrook might be getting the third time here. Oh, he didn't get it. We got to get one more, right? It's four down territory. SK Money, he would want us to go for it. Oh my God, just barely. Westbrook got hit at the line by Rod Coleman of the Chargers and had to just push forward. Oh my God, that was close. Are we going to get a Pro Bowl comeback? Oop, not like that. Pass intended for Reggie Williams. Of course, number 11 is also Dante Culpepper. He's going to be coming in in the third quarter. Dante Culpepper, uh, the St. Louis Rams. And that one hitting Tony Gonzalez in the forearm. Actually, check that. That was Eric Johnson. Third and 10. NFC. And Wayne Kerbet, he's had a couple of drops today. You're seeing Johnson and Gonzalez, Chad Johnson, Tony Gonzalez, what they've done today. But Jake DeLome having a really, really nice performance. I think DeLome and Kitna are having more of a quarterback duel than Brady and Manning did in the first half. Go check out the first half if you guys missed it. The first time ever in a Pro Bowl, Peyton Manning versus Tom Brady. DeLome, oh my God, just barely avoids the sack, gets rid of the football. So it's going to be third down. NFC got to get the touchdown here. This is a no-doubter. 
Delome. Is Delome? Delome's gonna run it. Oh my goodness. And he takes a shot in the Pro Bowl. Darren Sharper. Uh, I think we take the points. Take the points, make it a two touchdown game. That's the Seattle Seahawks kicker, Matt Bryant. That was an impressive drive by Jake DeLome. And field goal is good. So it's 24 to 10. We're going to head into the fourth quarter. While we head into the fourth quarter, guys. This would actually work. There we go. <laughs> Show you a little bit of how you can support TB Sports 27. Follow on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button on the video. It helps with the algorithm and all that fun stuff as well. Follow us on Twitter, Patreon, patreon.com slash tbsports27. Do you guys want to see a second season of ESPN NFL 2K5? We're looking for 10 new Patreon signups, and then we'll bring a second season of ESPN NFL 2K5 to you guys. Streamlabs, Ko-Fi as well so check all that out and uh, of course we have our patreon supporters that we want to shout out as always so we're gonna hit pause real quick and we're gonna put the third stringers in for the fourth quarter and see if the nfc can make a big time pro bowl comeback Fourth quarter kicking off. We got a new set of players, new quarterbacks in the mix here. And the NFC trailing by just 14 points. Crib episode of NFL 2K5 coming soon. SK Money is hyped up for that one. And we're going to see what happens here. Can the AFC get some more points to put this one out of reach? Or is the NFC going to pull off a big comeback with Dante Culpepper? So Michael Vick comes in now. Michael Vick. He was the quarterback in this world of the San Diego Chargers. And the Chargers, much like in real life, had a... I say in real life, but in real life years ago, had a 14-2 season. They were the number one team throughout the entire game, the entire season. And they got into the playoffs in the first round. They met Tom Brady, and they got eliminated, just like in real life when they went 14-2. So Michael Vick going to try to have some kind of redemption here with the Pro Bowl. Trying to put a capper on this one. You're going to look at Mike Vrabel on the NFC side. who looks very young in his profile picture. Third and two could be a three and out, which the NFC needs if you're going to get two more touchdowns. And Vick, play fake. And delivers a strike for a first down to one of the many, number 81s. It's Randy McMichael again. And Vic took a shot. Wow, Vic got hit by Leroy Glover of the New York Giants. No flag, though. This is the Pro Bowl in 2005. No flags being thrown. Pitching the, the football, and it's going to be a first down run. Look at the AFC fans. Do you have AFC gear, SK Money? Jones with the first down on the ground, and well, Michael Vick might be putting this one out of reach for the NFC guys here. Hand out to Jones once again. There's going to be a face mask. Michael Barlow of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, this uh, this drive did not help, and poor Dante Culpepper is going to come in <laughs> with this deficit in front of him. Wow. No blocking and Leroy Glover. The New York Giant comes in and delivers a sack to Michael Vick. There you're seeing him. He's representing the New York Giants. 
Down to just four minutes here. What a drive this has been by Michael Vick in the AFC squad. Jones doesn't get too far before being brought down by St. Louis Rams' Loyal Malloy. Holding to a field goal, so that'll make it a two-touchdown deficit that Dante Culpepper off to come in and overcome. And Jones. So here we go, fourth down. And Matt Stover of the Cleveland Browns. We'll let all this time tick down. No, he's not. Kick is good. It'll be a two touchdown. No, we only have 10. So that'll make it a three score game. That pretty much is it. I thought we had 14. We only have 10. That's right. We went for a field goal. Well, I think we're toast, SK Money. I think we're done. <laughs> That was a, a drive that our defense could ill afford to give up. And it's looking like it might be AFC victory in the Pro Bowl. A couple of nice drives towards the end, but too much of a slow start. But here's a first look at Dante Culpepper, St. Louis Ram quarterback. He's going to have at least one drive here. And Culpepper's going to go deep to Chad Johnson. So Ram quarterback to Ram receiver. Culpepper and Johnson hooking up. Despite the insurmountable odds, Culpepper's still going to fight through this thing. And just misses Terrell Owens. Incomplete. So the uh, all-time single-season wide receiver mark Terrell Owens only has one catch so far in the Pro Bowl Wayne Corbett maybe they're getting mixed up with all the 81s Call Pepper. Oh my god, he had a wide open Terrell Owens and they just could not connect. Oh, wide open. I mean, it is raining. You gotta keep that in mind. The rain is a, is a situation we're dealing with here. Call Pepper. And it's picked off. Oh, he delivers a big hit. <laughs> Uh, intercepted by Winfield of the Chiefs. Uh, that's two interceptions. What do you guys think? Winfield or Clinton Portis for MVP? Once again, a wide open Terrell Owens, but whether it's the rain or what have you, the pass, underthrown, underdelivered, slipped out of his hand, whatever. And Winfield... Might be might be getting that brand new car. <laughs> did did you ever Google Google what uh, the MVP of the Pro Bowl gets? Two turnovers for the NFC. There's coach right there. I think it is the weather. It's the rain. The ball slips out of the guy's hand. Well, there's your two minute warning. AFC cruising to a victory here. Who you guys got for Pro Bowl MVP? Does anyone miss the Pro Bowl? I missed the Pro Bowl. I don't like the I don't like the Pro Bowl games. Third and eight. Clinton Portis trying to pad those stats to get that Pro Bowl MVP nod. A couple of timeouts called by the NFC. 
And Dante Culpepper is going to come on and get one more shot at this thing. Still down by a hell of a lot of scores. <laughs> T.O. All right, here we go. This will this will conclude it. Good, bad, or indifferent for the NFC squad. Dante Culpepper. That one is completed to Eric Johnson of the Vikings. Hurry up offense now for the NFC. Culpepper waiting for some guys to get set. He's looking and will deliver it to Reggie Williams of the 49ers. Uh-oh, I accidentally hit Spike. I guess we're spiking it. That's all right, stop the clock, regroup. I was trying to run another play. I guess I hit the wrong uh, no huddle button. So second and 10 for Culpepper. Culpepper trying to run. Yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> Third and seven for the St. Louis Ram quarterback. Culpepper's pass is knocked away by Charles Woodson of the Miami Dolphins. There you see him, number 24. And this is it. This is going to be it for the NFC. With under a minute to play. Culpepper under duress. He tries to throw it on the move. He is going to get quarterback sacked by Javon Curse of the Super Bowl champion New York Jets. I criticize Madden about it. I'll criticize this. That should be an incompletion. There's no quarterback that can palm a football like that with his arm moving forward and it not be incomplete. Uh, all right, well, we take the big L, the big loss here. Congratulations to the AFC. We're going to have the Chris Berman post-game report. We're going to do the off-season, which is just going to be basically us simulating and then looking at any big roster changes. And then we are going to do the crib episode. So stay tuned. That's all coming your way here on TV Sports. Kitna trying to get to, um, some guys to jump off sides. It's actually funny to see Kitna back out there rather than Michael Vick. Maybe Vick tweaks something, but... All right, Chris Berman's going to take it away here. Pro Bowl winners. 2005 goes to the AFC. Take it away, Berman. Next time. Okay, enjoy this one. We're going to get you next time. We're going to get you next time. Good to see you. It's all right. We'll see you. All right, gang, and from here in chilly Bristol, I know I can say enjoy the rest of your time on the island as we welcome everybody to our special Pro Bowl edition of the ESPN Video Games Post Game Report. I'm Chris Berman. The AFC All-Star stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Jake DeLome would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Ball at the 14. John Kitna would find his target on this one. A 13-yard touchdown for the AFC All-Stars. The NFC All-Stars trying to answer back. NFC All-Stars back by 17. Jake DeLome would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They narrow the gap a bit and they're now down by 14. The AFC All-Stars come right back. Michael Vick connected with his man on this one. That set up an incredible 62-yard field goal. AFC All-Stars out in front, 27 to 10. Antoine Winfield would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The ball at their own 37. Dante Culpepper would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. AFC All-Stars win this one 27 to 10. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Clinton Portis is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? 
Thanks, Chris. You really hustled today. You just made it look easy tonight. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? You know what? Somebody was really looking out for us today, above and beyond. We were just blessed to come up with the win. I'm just very thankful and happy that we came out on top, and now we have to look forward to next game. Back to you, Chris. Well, there you go. Clinton Portis, SK Money. He was Super Bowl MVP, and he's also going to be Pro Bowl MVP. What a week that Clinton Portis has had. My God. Super Bowl, Pro Bowl MVP. This has been TV Sports 27. Up next, coming up here on TV Sports, it's the off season. We're going to see how everything shapes up for season two. And then we're going to do the crib episode. So come on back for all that.